And Colonel Mboto also testified before this court that he asked for the handcuffs to be loosened. He did not testify about you bleeding or seeing blood. Ogunya footige actually look up for us back to Kenyan board. Ogoti white tail and Joe Ogotige, a cool of the Oza and Gossi over Bafagiwe, Aragazasho, Luto, and Gogmalabako, Nango Bona Ikazi, a Zantan Zak. Cosacatola and Pendulum board, what I'm looking for Shola, Indians are like him. Sorry. Makobe. Okay. My Lord, I cannot answer on behalf of a Kenyan board, but what I'm testifying about here is what happened to me. And the one And he saw that I was injured on my hands. Okay, L -l let's proceed now. <coughs> you do not recall how long you were with Kenel Mbot. My question is, <coughs> will you dispute it to say that you were with Kenel Mbot for over one hour, 30 minutes? Utige wena umaupendula au kumbulu kuti kwa katis katis nga kanani ukulumisa na kwa kwa kanyo na kenyo nbote. Umangitigwe nage kwa tata ii hora elne mzuzi nga mashuma matatu unapigi saloko. Mubangita mkumbuli nje. Amkumbuli. As I am saying I cannot recall, I cannot recall. I'm asking you this question because from the indication that you gave this code, you only ask you few questions. And He's the one who said he would like to ask me a few questions. So for all this time you were together with Kenel Mboto, he was asking those few questions. And uh, that question, my Lord, can be posed to Kenyan Mboto. He's the uh, uh, relevant person to be asked as to whether all this time was he asking me these few questions. Mr. Sibia, Kenyan Mboto was here. He was asked questions by your defense counsel. It is now your turn because you were there as well. And that which uh, relates to Mboto should be posed to Mboto. Maybe he would come back if needed. According to Colonel Mboto, say, you were in his office at 21.45 until um, 23.58. And go show what you can in Mboto. Wauganya Naye Uksuga Gengaye, U21.45, Ukora to Ten Yellow Epsugo, was the Washire U23.58, Wushibuti Mizus, and Billy Gekshire U12 Epsugo. Umboto, Mangina, Ganging Econ, Etonganina, Banyama, Amapoisa, and Gazin is given as so by two. Why a corner of his carty, and Sasas to Aguban is carting Angin Aliwashi, if one might write at you on my phone. Eh, was there with Mboto? As well as other police officers, there was never an occasion where I was alone with Mboto. Uh, as to the time, I don't know what time uh, it was or how long it was. I didn't have a watch, and my phone had been confiscated. And, and then you knew exactly what time you arrested. Is cut is on all bush and also so nagge. We are sars, the mahua sars. Near sarsi, man sars, cutting bush. I know, and I also knew the time uh, it, uh, I was arrested. Did you, <coughs> did you check the time when you were arrested? Was peg is cutty, got to bush. Mischaracterization of evidence. The witness testified that he was arrested to one. There was no exact time put to the witness. Yeah, but the question is, did he check this watch? Is that the question, Mr. Sibande? That is correct. But before that, he asked, do you know exactly when were you arrested? You can answer that. That's what I'm Are you now representing accused number one? It's part of the team of accused number one. Yeah, but you know the law. Are you representing accused number one, sir? 
And Mr. Ngomezulu? He's my cousin. So that judgment of state versus uh, Basson and Basson and Janki doesn't bind you. It, it does bind me, my brother. In what way? Uh, that no two uh, council may cross-examine <coughs> or re-examine the same witness. Yeah, that's all I'm that's concerned about. So if you are now representing number one, Mr. Gomezulu is not going to lead further questions against number one. Let, let me withdraw the objection. <coughs> It's not me saying that, sir. It's a, well, the law. I'm well aware of yes. the and the I never say people person. mustn't do anything without quoting the law. Yes. It's not me. In this moment. Yes, sir. What was the response? Uh, uh, was the May you repeat the question? You see, did you look at your watch when you were arrested? In Gabo, what's Pegayin? It's Kat, normal Pegayin, what's Lako, Katu Bosch? Wagu Magu have passed Magu have passed twelve. Anga ten for the lu u Magu te kaya. So after that, Ponga drop a phone. I twenty minutes. I in Zula and was a Ah, it was around half past twelve when I was making this home. Sorry, this uh, telephone or this uh, uh, call uh, home uh, phoning uh, uh, the wife of Umakoti, and uh, it was not twenty minutes or twenty minutes hadn't lapsed or passed when the police arrived. Okay, let's proceed now. You were taken now to Valeria Police Station, correct? What's the title of man to see where a police station is in Valeria? Yeah, we're going to talk about the police station. That's correct. <coughs> you know what time was it? We oh, asked yes. what to go to Scotland. No, I don't know the time. <coughs> okay. Yesterday, before we, we posed for the day, I was about to ask you what happened on that particular day, starting from the time we booked out at Valeria Sars. Do you remember? Is a log in Jenga Pam, what is the day of Enzo Buza, go to Guan Zaganiga, and let's cut Jenga Pambi, go to Ukisho again, Nama Upu, Altige, a police station, a civil area. The law in the Lombuza Cosicotron. Can you repeat the question, my lord? I said, what happened after you were booked out of Valeria SAPS by Sergeant Mohan at 11 bit? In the morning. Mrs. Mia, the questions get translated to you. I don't know which part of the question you don't understand. Saying you, you were taken back to Valeria. And then the following day, which is the 31st of May 2020, you were booked out from the cells by Sergeant Mohan. I eh, wanted to start today. Uncle Lena, get post. Imi, 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 buzo Lena, get. We are told you are going to ask you to keep in the And get you a hand, Jesus. We are going to be very. We are going to get land, land, land. We are going to get land. We are out. We are going to get land. We are going to get land. We are going to get land. We are going to uh, yes, I did say that uh, 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 many of the of that which happened on the 31st, I cannot remember. And he also testified before this court that the the vehicle that he got into is a Toyota Fortuna. Yes, I did say. Uh, so you were taken back to Valeria when they took you out of the cells. Where did you go? Um, I don't know where the, sorry. I don't know where the cell was taken to. Uh, uh, I don't know where the cell was taken to. I don't know where the cell was taken to. I don't know where the cell was taken to. I don't know where they took me to. They took me out of the cells, placed me in the vehicle as to where we were. they went to after that. I don't know. The police would take me where they wanted to or the way they would like to take me to and where they would wish to take me to. Were you inside this particular vehicle all the time? Gaso son is cut, well paratigle or motor lay. Mabing Tati the police station and shall apparatigle or motor lay once we have a if I was taken <coughs> or I would be taken at the police station, I would then be inside that particular vehicle that they would uh, uh, I would be travelling in.
So you do not know the places that they took you to. In the old days, the back of the back I don't remember the places. And then when did you return back to Valeria Police Station? Na send Buela Nini Gekona a police station at Valeria. I don't know. I didn't have time. Was was it still on the same day? Pabu se ngalelo la ngalelo. Pabu se psu wiskatu kwa uba na mas. It was at night. As to what time it was, I don't know. Do you remember passing at Timbisa Police Station? I can't remember, my lord. And then the following day on the first, we'll get back to the first. Did you appear at Timbisa Magistrate Court? I don't know what happened. Yes, I did, my lord. Are you disputing the fact that on the Early hours of the first of June 2020, you were at Tembisa way in, you were charged with the offense of being in possession of ammunition. Uh in Gaba we are picking say in Ugutige enter Tagusa Yange one Zagachun. Uh Wause Tembisa a police station, Lapa Wow Tweswa Kona Matala, Octogala Octolagala Nin Tamf. Angazi near Tembisa police station. I never went to police uh, Tembi, uh, sorry Tembisa police station. So now yeah. you remember not being there. The police station kumbulu tingati sange naguyo itembisa south. The Tembisa police station. The police station that I remember where we uh, we went into was Tembisa south and not Tembisa police station. So you you were at Tembisa south. Ushuguti na ni setem unama wa usi Tembisa south. Mwa yeseng kumbuzi le seng ya kumbulu tingati sange ne Tembisa south. Now that you've reminded me, now I can recall that I think we went into Tembisa South. Thank you. And then who, 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 who was present there with you? Bani Oye Kona Noma Ababe Kona Nawe Lapo. Ansawa Kumbulo Kama Poisa Kono to Mohane Oye Kona. I can't remember all the police officers, but Mohane was there. Okay, let us proceed now. Let us go back on the 31st. According to the evidence of Mr. Dupree, the AVL aspect, he testified before this court that on that day you were taken to Dobsonville as well as Palm Ridge. Ngogopfagazi ba kege umnumzana utupri ngo yena ge ungoti we AVL tige ngali lela ngaga lang ipeti pes ngobu test buela ge gona ge ipeti one ngoti wasuwa ge wahanji so swe Dobsonville kani na se Palm Ridge. Kose katolo wanti angkumbuli min angkumbuli. My Lord, because I said I can't recall, I can't recall. Do you dispute being taken there or just that you do not recall? In Gabia Pigisayin, Uguti, why Yakona Lapo, Noma, Uguti, Aukumbuli. I am Kumbul, my lord. I can't remember, my lord. And then according to the evidence of um, now Sergeant Mahula, you were taken to that particular place to go and point out a Sangoma. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the purpose was, uh, but I've never went uh, to point out a Sangoma, or, and I've never pointed out a Sangoma. And at some stage, you went to another Sangoma called Mr. Magwaza at Dobsonville. Uh, okay. And you were at Dobsonville Magwaza. I know Makwaza from Dobsonville, but I do not know him as a Sangoma. And then a question was posed by Advocate Mungomizu on your behalf that that is your Sangoma or Inyanga. 
kunombuzo ke obuziwe ke ubuzwa kuthwala umbuzo ubuzelwa yena ke noma ubuzwa egama lakhe usibiya ukuthi yebi impela umagwaza lowo iyona inyanga yakhe noma ke isangoma sakhe usibiya angimazi njengesangoma I don't know <laughs> him. I don't know him to be or as a Sangoma. Makwaza is not a Sangoma. Where does he reside? Uthala Gupi. Uthala Soweto. He resides in Soweto. We eat again there on the 31st. Gazo eat 31. What's he again? Mount Kumbuz. Nyakumbuli Tungatisaya Gwe. If you remind me, I think I do remember that we did go to him. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. And then, from seeing Magwaza, you do not recall going to Palm Ridge. Because I remember I'm not familiar with Palm Ridge as to where the cars went to or drove to, I have no knowledge. And then from Palm Ridge, you then headed to Aratin. Masensuka konage e Palm Ridge, nase niya e Aratin. Aratin ang yas. I'm not familiar with Aratin. Aratin is the offices of Brigadier Gininda and the team. Ila po gama office ake go Brigadier Gininda kanya neko imbuge na mai timbage akona. Ang yas. I don't know about. So you do not recall going there on that particular day. Au kumbuli niya la po ngalelo la ngalelo. As I've already stated that the places that were visited by the police, it was their purpose or their intentions. I don't remember to call them. According to the testimony of Mahola and Mohani, you were taken to that particular office where you got into the office. Gogopfagas Bakege Umuhula Ganyanaya Umuhane. I personally do not recall as to the places where they were taking me into as to where that was or what place would that be because uh, uh, I, I, I wasn't familiar with the places that they were taking me to. And then they further testify that from that particular um, office of the South African Police Services, you were then taken to Timbisa South, as you put it. But he gave Uksuga Kona Lapo, Glauma Office Law, Ila Naya Konage Manje, E Timbisa South, Nanjeng over Usho Wen. Well, I need to tell Mr. South in a Kumbola, Sifia Guyo, Figabe, Ben Gena Kone Police Station. So, uh, as I've already indicated that I do recall Tembisa South uh, that we went into the police station, but as to where we were coming from before going there, I don't know. It is quite strange to say that you were quite sure when you were taken to Deep Loop in Soweto as well, but now you are being taken to another place, you do not know where that place is. Yes, again, Katige, Usua Konage, a deep professor, where to allow one as Prince, would not one as Prince or Con, Cotamanje, Uti, E. Penindao, or Ayagio Nagela Ponje, Unobnabaz, on as Prince or Galok. It includes Ipali with the group police station. One at Tembisa South, my one at Tembisa South, the police station near Con. In deep cloof, it is written there that it is deep cloof. Uh, police uh, station, as well as Tembisa South. It is also, you can see that it is Tembisa South. Thank you. Mm, let us proceed. Who was present other than Mohula, Mohane, when you were taken to Tembisa South? Obani, 
Ubani noma ubani ababe kona ngapanzi kumukula na mukane ngati u hanjiso u ya e tembisa south. Kwanga mapoise MPD. The MPD police uh, officers. Were you assaulted on that particular day? Galelo la galelo. Washa ywa. No. Were you threatened in any way? Kona jinja la uwa sachi swanga ywa. By the police. Yes. Yebo. Yeah, Very long it from the first day in Kalubosh. Yes, uh, indeed. Very much police and always have a malice of scatless up until. Yes, I was scared or I was in shock from the first day uh, the, of my arrest. So from that time, uh, I was uh, scared of the police. Okay. You, you also testify in this court that there's a certain man who came, a police officer, you put it into context that came to you and asked you about the assault at Valeria police station. Ushiva kumfakas bako kutil kwanele poisa el tizen je eleza kuwe nage lazo kubuza ngokushari wako wako e police station yasu Valeria. Yeah, Gongshiva. Yes, I did say so. When was that? Kwa kunini? Angsa kumbu riskat wako ulupu sugu. Because in Zoom, we are going to go to the school, so we are going to I don't remember the day as to when it happened because, uh, as far as days are concerned, I'm unable to recall that on this day this happened and on a particular day this is what happened. So you cannot even recall that said police officer, his same name at least? Yes, I'm going to go to school. I'm never mentioned the same name. Was he on uniform? Why go in uniform? Why go in uniform? Yes. Is the name not written on a badge on his chest? La eskuben ke na ke igama albaliwe. Ah, dalinga. No. Na ma ma police la nje ngaba bali la magama. Yes, there was no name as in this case here in court as well. There are certain po police officers whose name uh, are not written. Member of the South African police on their uniform is not written. I'm saying he was wearing uniform, but his name was not written. That interaction that you had with the said police officer, did you put it to, at least to Mahula when she was on the witness stand? That at some stage you did make a report of assault to a certain police officer who did nothing about it. Ngatumukula ela na ge manje inkanto le ingeza ngopfagas ba ke ingaba kwa shiwo yini loko kum na wagu shiwo yini wena loko kumukula ugutige kune police tize na ma police tize ni ingeza umbigo ge kulo na ge ngokshaya a zangu wenze loot. Ka agazengi shonga ngazuti minangzozala epoxi ni ifiri ngazi ogitia nze lagim. No, I never uh, mentioned it or said it. I knew that my time would come for me to take the witness uh, stand and say every, everything that happened to me. Did you convey that instruction to your advocate? I mentioned some of the things, but I didn't mention everything because I cannot say everything knowing very well that my time will come for me to come and testify about everything that happened to me. Uh, I knew that the time would come for me to come and testify about everything that happened to me as it uh, has, has now happened. Say, I put it to you that had that vision placed before the court. Then Mokula will have commented regarding that report. 
ngithi minake kuwena ke uma ku ukuthi lokho kwakushiwe ke yena ke umrhula nkathi elana lokho bekuzonikeza ke umrhula ithuba ke lokuthi ke aphendule kulokho mayelana nokwenzeka kosi katolo laba abantu bathi ngeke beze bebathathele iinqumo ngeke beze bekwazi ukugcila kulabo abantu kuba bakhulu kulabo obvious laba babatshenango umuntu wayazi le yanto leya kwakuba yimi Uh, my Lord, as they had said or indicated that there was no way that they would have taken decisions against those people because those people were much senior to them. Uh, someone who knew about that was myself. Or the one who knew about it was myself. And when you say these people are much senior, are you referring to Kininda, Sergeant Mohola, Sergeant Mohani? Uma utige la bati la bantu bakulu bona kusho umukula umukane no kininda. Aba bafige la pa epepe ni ba pega le la pepe le le abati ba pega la pa batolo bati i national i court case bandan. So bati la bantu ba banga pezu lugwa abo abagwa zubata tela i u u ubata tela i ugutu benga ba landele lutwa ibe shayu mundo. Uh, my Lord, they went, looked on the document there, and then found out that it was a national cold case, uh, something or what what, and then said that uh, those people uh, with regards to rank uh, positions are higher than them, so there is no way that they can uh, make a follow up on them as to, uh, with regards to having assaulted a person. And then in exhibit NN, When a self visit was done, there were no complaints that were noted. Manje ke kune ezibithi lana eli u NN la ebhaliweko nake ukuthi nkathi kuyiwake kona amasel akukho isikhalo esatholakala. Akekho owangibuza ngesikhalo mangena lapha ngithi ngasale emontweni bafike bangena bona baphinde babuya bezake emontweni mabe edukuze ke emontweni bangithatha bangifaka bona emaseli ngaphakathi bafike bavulise bangifaka bavale. Uh, no one, uh, as I said, my Lord, that uh, upon arrival there, I was left in the vehicle, they went inside, they came back, took me from the vehicle, and they themselves placed me inside uh, the cell and locked again. According to the evidence of Colonel Swanipool, the police at the cells do an hourly cell visit. Eh kuno baba ke obelana ke kule vike ndlule eh abathe ke u Colonel Swanepool oshilo ke kubufakazi bakhe ukuthi ihora ne hora kuyahanjwa kuyobhekwa emaselini benza ke into abayibiza ngokuthi ke ama cell visit u Swanepool my figure what to seven zero six but in i everally uh when uh Colonel Swanepool arrived or was here he said that he was working in Silverton not Valeria He's indicated before this court, or he testified before this court, that that is a standard practice in all police stations in South Africa. Actually, log ngate figa la na uguti log. No ma wenu ngati ge yebu sebenza esilvati na kasebenza veleria. Kuto make kaza yena ute yinzela ge eguenza izinto ge le yokuwa onke ama police station aligning zima Africa. Afan. It's not the same. Everali, mang fi anga salangi wana seli ni abantu be salagumni. Esilvatin, mabe mfixa kona tsu kubati ba funu kuting salangi wana. Esilvatin baba chenti la umuta anga salangi wana abantu ba salanga tri ya pezu. In Valeria, when I got there, I was placed alone when other people were in their numbers. In Silvatin, when I got there. Uh, arrived there at night. They wanted to place me alone, but they were told that here we don't keep uh, one person in a cell. They uh, stay in numbers. So it specifically said from three upwards. Yeah. Yeah. That in then indicates that uh, how the police uh, work or do their work is not the same. See, this is in relation to cell visits i'm not talking about how many people must be detained in one cell i'm talking about hourly cell visits lana ke mfethu angikhulumike ngokuthi ke kufanele kugcina abantu abangaphi emaseleni ngikhuluma lana ngento eshiwe u Colonel Swanepool ethi ihora ne hora 
ke yahanjwa kuyobhekwa emaselini kuvithi thoma angikhuluma ngokuthi kuhlala abantu abangake emaselini ngikhuluma ngokuthi sona ipulute kuyabhekwa njalo ngehora kudlula ihora kuhanjwa kuyobhekwa emaselini kudlula ihora kuhanjwa kuyobhekwa emaselini abayibizwa ngokuthi amasel visit hayi ukuthi kuhlala abantu abangake cha akwenzeka kula ama police station ihlale kubo akazi kuze kwenzeke lokho no it doesn't happen the police stations where i was it never happened how many police stations ama police station amangake when I was arrested on the 30th, I was uh, at Valeria. And then when I was released on the 10th, I was in Silverton. Two police stations. Okay. That disparity or that difference in doing things in police stations, was it put to Colonel Swanepoel? Lo mehluko leyo ukuthi ke ama police station wasebenza ngokufanayo. Mkathi uSwane Pool ela noma uKenel Swane Pool ela kwashiwo ke yena ukuthi Kenel Swane Pool ama police station wasebenza ngokufana. Kose katolo angiphendulela uSwane Pool la ngizobeka into eyenzeka kimi. Ah my lord I'm not answering on behalf of Swane Pool. I am here to state that which happened to me. Thank you. So are you saying to this court when the, the police officers made an entry that all in order or no complaint they were just trying to cover something eh ingabe uthi ke uma ama police eba ama police ebhalile lapha yani ukuthi konke nje kukahle kungendlela ukuthi babenza nje babebhala nje angeze kubakhulumele kodwa mina ke ekho kwangibuza ukuthi nginjani mangifika e police station ngibuza ukuthi ngiride or kwenzakaleni mshayo noma ngishawanga mangena lapha yakhe ekho kwangibuza lodwa le because abantu babengithatha bawungama police alangisiwe kathi ngihamba nawo kube yiwa yongifaka emaselini I cannot speak on their behalf uh, because uh, at the police stations no one asked me as to how I was was I assaulted am I well because the people that would be taking me were the very same people that I was traveling with so those people that you were traveling with were they also keeping the key to the cell labantu laba owahamba nabo ukuthi kwakuba yibone babekuthatha beyokufaka beyokuvalela iikhiya zayihlala kubona I don't know, but I would see them in possession of the keys. Who specifically? Skulumang Oban. Uma Pen. Uma Pena. Umhan. Muhani. Iba bantu ba bishale ugun vale iskates ni. They are the people that most of the time would uh, be locking me up. Even though they are not based at Valeria Police Station, they had the keys to the cells of Valeria. No man she being a seven the police station as a Valeria. Got the keys as a Valeria. I I pato Oban. Ibona. Bangama police and hanging was a booze to wine petal key, got a evil petal key bone for Lela Lapaya. They are police officers, uh, then I wouldn't ask them or inquire of them, them why are you in possession of the keys, but they would open there and uh, uh, place me inside. Mahane was here for almost a week or over a week. He was never told that he had the keys to the Valeria police station cells. Umhane Bella. I knew that my time would come to come and testify. I wouldn't speak on behalf of Mohane. Say, I put it to you that you are fabricating a story, like tailoring evidence as we go along. My Lord, that which I'm saying is something that happened to me. And then what is trying to say is that police have to bend the procedures when it comes to Moses Bia. Because police officers they would bend the laws if it, it was that it doesn't allow them to do what they uh, wanted to do. I didn't know uh, what the law said or what was required. And they, pull, they break the law to Muzizi Bia, who has a selective memory. Futige umteto baupula ke Muzizi Bia, Muzizi Bia onga kumbuli gonke. Uh, the police officers 
uh, if they had to, if, or if they were had to break the law, then they would do it. I am a human being, uh, born just like anyone else. I am on this uh, earth or universe. I forget, and I can also remember. So whatever that you forgot as Moses Bia is not a suggestion that it did not happen, just that you forgot. Uh, when I say I can't remember a thing, it's only to say that I do not have an uh, a answer as to say how am I going to answer that particular question which is being posed to me. Uh, but if you do, but if you do remind me and give me a scenario and say this is what happened or how it happened, mm -hmm. I would then say this didn't happen or this is how uh, it happened. Now let us make progress. Let's proceed now. Let's fast forward to 5 June 2020. I see a man January 5 June 2020. Yeah. That is the day you were taken to Lieutenant Colonel Hadeb. Lieutenant Colonel Hadeb. Yes, the police took me to Fort Lauderdale. From Fort Lauderdale, then taken to Albertine, uh, to a person <coughs> that I found there, and, and eventually said that he was Hadeb. Okay. Who booked you out? Bani or keeper in Marcelin. Muhan. Muhan. And then you were in, in which company? Why Hamba no Bani? Why Hamba no Kennel Long in Tangim Kumbu, Lugu to Kennel Banis Bonsak? The unknown Kennel, the one who, which I say I can't remember his surname. No Naman. Namane? No Mapen. And Mapena. What were they traveling on? Babi Hambangan. I uh, can't remember the vehicle that they were traveling in. Was it not the Toyota Fortuna? Wanga si on Toyota Fortuna. Is Katis Pambi even Kabamu Tifele Wagu Yong over him to have a seven zisa? Mari. Ma Makfigi AV Elitaxion, Japaxion, Naman even Kabamu Ti. Uh, before I thought that it was the Toyota Fortuna, but when the AVL came and confirmed that it was not it, then it means it wasn't it. Uh, even now I thought that it was the Fortuna. Okay. And then in Fos Loras, Fos Loras, what happened? When they got the Fos Loras? Bang figure Fos Loras, by a bang shy about a young young combat, I will feel a consent. My bachelor would tell me that I was never feel a consent. Upon arrival at Fos Loras, they assaulted me and said that I should go and point out where Senzo died, I then said to them, I don't know where Senzo died. Who assaulted you? Oshaga Obani. Kwa se wukona ma traffic copa, mas figa le abu Tilezi. There were traffic, uh, traffic officers when we arrived there, the likes of Utilezi, yebo? Nobo Mapen. The likes of Mapena. And then who else? Nobani Futi. Nabo Naman. The likes of Naman. Lo kene la gaze zeng shai, no mahala zeng shai. This particular kennel never assaulted me. Mukhane also never assaulted me. And then you're saying Butelezi? Who else? But you're Butelezi, Nabani? Butelezi, Nabom Nareng. Babe Kona Umning Babo, Nchilama. They were there in their majority, Butelezi, Munareng. Okay, Lama Traffic and Wabali, Lai Kona. All these traffic officers that I've mentioned, they were there. And was this on. You said when they assaulted you, they wanted you to point out where Senzo was killed. Oti mabekshaya ge bakshaya beti hambo bakombe sala u Senzo ashone la kona. Yeah. Yes. And then after that assault, what happened? Emu vago kutu shayi we ge kwa segwen segani. Emu vago la povang tata vang fai motu ene. Mabona se esnge na enda Albertin. The enda wii police station mara ikan vanga lesa start. Ah, we then I was then placed into the vehicle. 
We then drove and then we entered this police station, uh, Albertine, but at that particular time, the place was uh, uh, still under uh, renovations. Was it also written Albertine Police Station? No, no, Albertine Police Station. Albertine Police Station. It was written Albertine Police Station. Then let us go back to Fus Loras. Can you describe the nature of the assault that was meted out there? As we are like a manager, a police station, a Fus Loras, a Ungasho, Ubuti Injela, or Shayanga, Yokona, Lapo. Yeah. Yes. Proceed. Quebec. Ubunfaga, in plastic, it's been Kashela. So place plastic over me, and the others were uh, kicking me. How long did the assault last? Quatatis Katis Naganani, local. I can't remember, I did not have time on me. Will you say five minutes, ten minutes? More than that. More than ten minutes? Ten minutes. 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 Ten as I'm saying, my Lord, I cannot remember, so I can't recall as to uh, what time it took. Where were they kicking you in your body? Lagu and Agam Zimbian, Baby Castle Lagupi Nendao. From there, Sugalagia Lezans. Uh, the witness is indicating, my Lord, uh, using my body. That that is my, Lord, just and my hands were tied like this uh, at the back. Uh, it was pointing to the upper part of the body. It says, together with the, including the arms. I don't understand. Uh, he indicated, my Lord, he used my body and said, from this part, my Which Lord. Which part was he using? Uh, he pointed, yeah. Oh. And then he said, including the arms. On the ribs. On the ribs. He also including the arms. The ribs and the arm. He said the arms were tied at the back like this. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's also using uh, the upper part of the arm, my lord, and said this part was also being kicked, referring mm. to the left upper part of the arm. Hmm. Were they kicking you on both sides, on the right and the left? Uh, then the entire body. Were they hitting you hard? Uh, I cannot uh, attach uh, weight to that, my lord, because the manner in which people uh, hit you it won't be the same, as well as people's uh, weights uh, are not the same. But I could feel the pain. So were they hitting you repeatedly? Repeatedly, yes. Did you sustain any injuries? Uh, yes, I did. Where in your body? The whole body uh, was uh, uh, aching a lot. Any bruises? Uh, when police, assault, when police assault you, they do not assault you so that there are bruises or visible bruises. They assault you so that those bruises are not to be seen. So are you suggesting to this court that if I kick you, the men in which they kick, then there won't be any bruises? In Gabut, oh mami na, ginga kashe la manje, ngenje la aba kashe la ngai, angegi mi huzu kibe kona. Uh, because you were not there uh, when they kicked me, but if I were to kick someone in the very same fashion or manner in which they kicked me, you would see that there won't be any bruises, but that particular person would feel the pain. Any swelling? Uh, it was not visible. So, Mukhane, Mabena, Ngamani, and the SWAT guys, I'm correct, the SWAT guys. 
Eh umukhanya umabena umncamane kanye futhi nalaba ke babizwa ngokuthi ke amaphoyisa namala besiwat. Yeah. Yes. No other police officers. Enge kwamanye amaphoyisa. Lapha ya kwakukhona ama traffic cop amangisha uma sifika e Albertine kwase ukukhona nama Barrett. Uh, there were traffic officers when I was being uh, assaulted, but when we now arrived at Albertin, then there were these uh, 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 beret unit. Did they partake in the assault as well? Uh, the witness but said it very so he said the TRT, but he didn't speak out loud. He says the TRT. T? TRT, my lord. TRT. Did they partake in, in assault? Nabo, kebabe inga enye yokshaya. Uh, they were for, they took part in scaring me. How? Kanjani. Uguba na mapoisa azizova no ma angata mapubesi mai nao. Aye ntusela wakuli. To be in the company of police officers who are, would resemble or who are like lions when they are with you, that on its own was scary to me. How so? Describe it, say. 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 How so? Describe it, uh, when you're being arrested by police officers, and there's not even a single police officer who empathizes with you or who uh, feels or who would like to assist you, then they would all appear like animals, or let me, let me use, they would all appear like monsters to you. Okay. Interesting now. On the 23rd of October, 2023, this is what M. has to say, to first Loras, he was subjected to torture and assault by the TRT police, who then took him to Albertin. After that, he was, according to his instruction, he was instructed to point out the place where the incident took place. Lana ke ukfundela ke ukuthi okwenzeka ke lana idate kwa kungei 23 zika October. October 2023, Lana ke umisto mkomezulu ke uma esho ke usho kufaka zige. Fosleras la kona ke aye e shaywa ke noma ke e tocharwa e shaywa amalunga e TRT. Ase em tata ke em hambisa imsa e Albertin. Emufa kwa loko ke ngogusho kwa ke wase e chelwa ke uguti ayo komba indawo la iskamego senze ka kona. Angeli kulimeni mgomezu lugu tuwa tini Mina ingu shula hapa ngu katoni Piti mna ma traffic copa Yua and shaifo soras Masifiga e albati Kwa sebu kwa na ma TRT I cannot speak on behalf of Mr. Mgomezu What I'm saying is that When I was arrested in Fos Loras Traffic officers were there And when we arrived in Albertin There were now the TRT police officers See It is the other way around Gomez will be speaking on your behalf, not you. Lana wena utine angege ukulumele u Mr. Gomez. Koto age agukonga leyon lela. Umangabe u Mr. Gomez ekuluma esho indo gufagazi. Ube usube ekuluma indo. Ati ibuya wena. Wena omrayel uguti agasho lugu gufagazi. Aksu uguti wena ukulumela yena. Koto age yena ukulumela wena. Umgomezu ulu maesuwa gimi ni mchena ito Uma eibega Mshabtota kezo wanga Shengenge nise ngiti mina umgomezu Angi mchena wanga kanja Umgomezu ulu maesuwa gimi Angi nise mkulumele Uyi umgomezu ulu nga ikulumele uti Kwa haba kanja nguze eibega so Kota mina ngiti manje La eko seka toli Mina ama traffic copa Angi shaya e foso ras Angi tata ngise albati I cannot speak on behalf of uh, uh, Mr. Mgomezulu. Uh, Mr. Mgomezulu would be the one who would then come and explain or uh, answer as to how it is uh, or why it is that he put it like that. I am saying that 
in phosphorus when I was arrested, the traffic officers were uh, there, and then up when I was taken to, for, to Alberton, uh, the TRT police officers were also there, were now there. Are you done? Thank you. In the Dunham Moors. I'm waiting for the question. Okay. <laughs> I love your anticipation. Gomez Zulu is the one who invited you there and he asked you now to speak right where you are standing. He's no longer asking the state, uh, state witnesses questions. He's now, you are there now to explain why did you not inform the court that. This is what happened on the 5th of June 2020. Eh lana ke okwenzekayo Mr Mr Eh okwenzekile ukuthi uyenake okubize ukuthi uzoma la uzochaza ke uzoshoke loko okwenzeka. Uyena umuntu okubizele khona ke lendawo omeke yona mjengamanje. Nangizela ngizile uzochaza likatoni. I am here to inform the court or to tell the court as to what happened from the day I was arrested up until. Yes, and then you were asked to tell us what happened on that day. Yeah, but what we are telling you, I go to tell you, I go to go and say, "Gan, Yeah. Yes, and then you did not tell this court. Sorry? You did not inform this court about the presence of the TRT at Albertine. Uma usu chela, nama usu kaza ke loko kwenzeka. Awi chela nga lenkantolo, kwa kona ke, kwa ma TRT, nama ma poisa la e TRT. Ikatolo ngi chenili uti minasha wa ma poisa. Kut, nama nga show ngu titubu nundu wa ma poisa, nga wati parama. Ama TRT, nama traffic cop, kwa kse nga ma poisa onge. I did inform the court that I was, uh, sorry, I was assaulted by the police officers, although I did not differentiate or specify as to which police officers. Yeah. TRT and traffic officers, they are all uh, police. Mr. Sibir, that's a good one. You whispered to Mr. Jonasi there towards the end of your answer to say TRT. Then, indicates to this court that they've got a special name. Even, even Refer them with the nickname Mama Beret. Should have said that. It's not physics. Yen toge oy kulu mi lele gota oy kulu mele pansi usukwe ti niga sangu fagas gota wa sholo pansi ge wati amati arti. Ogu shugu ti ba ne kamatiz no ma kamatiz zeni ababi zwangal. Bung 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 asho nogo ti ama Beret. Kose gato longa oti ku inte yuan ma ngi chama pois no ma ngakaza oti shobo no ma pois ama pois ama pois. My Lord, I think it's the same thing. Although I did not specify which are police officers, police remain police officers. Unless you mutong buzi buzi maizo te angazo te shobo niama police besenguazo te angazo te police aso. Unless the cross examiner then, my Lord, asks me to specify, then I will then specify. That is your duty to specify, they say. Eh, kukwe na ge nanje ngoba umila na kutikwe uwe na okazayo. You said, you said it was Mohane, Mabena, Ngamane, Hotelezi, Munari, and traffic cops. Traffic cop is a specification you're specifying now. You not specify the TRTs. Uba vizile onke la makama wabiza yola payan. Wase ufaga ke futi na ma traffic cops. Manje umufiga ke kuma polisa uti ya ma traffic. Kushukuti manje usho inchobe tize. Lona mutfobo tile la ma polisa. Ingo because katolibi mbuzu uti wagu ngobani. Labe babe kono. It's because I was asked as to who were, who was present or where the people that were present. Their names. So let us go back now. It was no rise. Where the TRT or Ama Beret present day. As we are like a manche phosphorus, Ama TRT Lana, Noma Lava gave Ama Beret, Babekona, a phosphorus. Because the Catalan Tang at South Africa, Albertine. I said we found them in Albertine. So when this instruction was carried out, did you inform your council that no, that is not the correct version of events? As we are the Lana, get local Palilana, Yabona Lana, 
nanjombo kushu ukuthi umiste mgome zilo wati uma ese kwa esho kufagaz ukutike e fosloras ila ashayu wako nage e shayu ila ababeti abti nkati umuzu wage e gusho loko uchezi kwa nalapayana uya gusho enu gusho kufagaz ingaba wamlungisa yinu tika wenzi puta lab akzange kwenze kekanjal labandu laba mati abti babenge kwe fosloras ngaba sabafika albatini Kose kato longa ngazi uti minalai pofin ni zoza mfien kati so kitu tienza gala wanja. I knew my lord that I would come here and testify and explain as to how everything happened. Kise ngoba na maji kwa tolo ngeche na juti kwa wama traffic copa ae kona la pae efo suras sa hamba sa hii albatin sa fika kukona na maa TRT. As I'm saying that it was the traffic cops or traffic officers that were there in Fosleras. And upon arrival in Albertin, then we found the TRT. Uh, a police. Uh, you see now, Mr. Sibia, yesterday you were busy dodging my questions. No, I was waiting for the time to explain to, to explain my case. Now you are there, you do not explain your case. Yes, I get over when Zaga is all good in jail. We balege lege in Mibuzoyam. I'm in this Katisam, good in Gizo Kazage, Manje is Katsakos Figi Lege, so go to Kaze, our Kazi. Because the Katalonia Kaza and Amaj and Katak is playing a man with Kaza Manj, would he? I am explaining, my Lord, even now I just explained as to who was uh, in Foster Das and who was, uh, did I find in uh, uh, Albertin. But you did not explain that during examination in chief by your defense counsel. See? So, my Lord, I think I did explain, my Lord, by saying that it was the police. But when I'm, I'm now uh, requested or asked to explain or to say who those people were, that is when now I'm explaining or giving the names as to who they were. It's fine. Let, let's leave that point. Let's proceed. The members of the TRT that are present here in court today, do they scare you as well? I was not in court at that time. I'm talking about today, say, don't be smart with me. No, they are not scaring me. Why? I'm in front of the court now, or I'm before the court now. So at the police station, you are scared of them? Uh, a police station, you have a Saba. You have a Saba police station? Yes, I'm scared of them at the police station. You have a Saba police station? Because I chose to go to prison because in, uh, in, in the police station they would do whatever they want to do. But that was before you chose to make that election, say. Can you repeat? The time you made that choice to go to prison, it was before or it was after you have met the Amabereta there at Albertine. Uh, at the time, think that I was being assaulted by the police. I was scared of the police at the time. Okay. But now you're no longer scared. I was upset, man. Now I am traveling with the prison officials, so they won't do anything to me in the presence of the prison officials. And I'm before the court, they won't do anything to me as I'm before the court. So when you're before court, you feel free. I'm even safe. Then you, there you are on the 1st of June, 2020, in front of court. Do you feel safe? Uh, the first is that you need to come and control all of us is a pepil. The starting says that you say that all the parts are not pepil. I'm not pulling up and up the problem. When I was inside the court, I was safe. As the moment I left the court, I was outside. Then my safety wasn't guaranteed to me or wasn't there anymore. So why did you not inform the court then that day? I'm being assaulted because now I'm free before you magistrate. I'm being assaulted. 
Unalige si safe inside the court. Nalige ituba unalo. Si ulitolile ge manje upepile, usenkandolo. Eh, ubingeleli manje, ubusa ichela ge manje, ge manje. Uti, angpepile lana labandu laba, bayang shaya. Kose katolo na izo long shilo, ngatilo ya lama, ngatichenu kutlawa batu bayang shaya. Ngapile ngatichena lange iten, ikalichule ya kutlawa batu bayang kubega bayang shaya. So, angsafuni, ubuya ema police station. Kose bengise sifatini, mfuna ubuya echen. <laughs> my lord, I did mention it yesterday that I informed my legal representative that these people are assaulting me. I repeated that again on the 10th of July that I'm being assaulted and uh, I would like to go back to the police station, but I would like her to go uh, to prison because they won't do as they please. So when you appeared for the first time before this specific court, did you feel safe as well? Ngathi uvela ke ukuqala kuleni inkantolo ke manje sikhuluma ke inkantolo ke magistrate lana ke inkantolo ephakeme ke uma usuvubingelela ke umehlulela ukuqala ke lana ke nalapho wazizwa uphephile I felt safe. Each and every time I'm inside the court, uh, I feel safe. Okay, now let us proceed. I want to show you something on the screen. The corner is just going to come second after the final. Do you see that photo? You can, you can, you can go closer there. I can see. Who is that person? He's Tom the Sam. It's my picture. Where was it taken? It was at the time when we were in Alberton. Who took the photo? I don't remember, I can't remember the surname. Is that how you were dressed on that day as well? Uh, stop, stop. Yeah. Yes. Even at the time when you were arrested at Busimuzi section Tembisa, you were dressed like that. Nangin ka to obo shangayo e Busimuzi section in Tembisa or Koge Ganjia? No. How were you how were you after you, you changed? We dress like this. I move up to sushi and chill over all Kogile, what Kogaranje. Yeah, but what Kogaranje is seven sheets in. Yes, after I changed. Even when you were kicked <laughs> on the 30th, kicked on the 31st, then fast forward the 5th of June, you were still like that. Now you got to cash along 830, cash along 831, basically a Pambi League and gave five as Gatuni, or Sako and Ali Angel. I was always dressed like that. I haven't even taken a bath. Yes, I was dressed like that. I haven't even taken a bath. like that. I haven't even taken a bath. You can see the person depicted on that photo. The clothes are still neat. Yes, I was dressed like that. 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 Those clothes are dirty. Okay. What made the clothes dirty? That I hadn't changed, and also that I was uh, uh, on the ground. Okay, and then who told you to stand like that in that photograph? It's hard to be. <coughs> okay, now let's go to the next And then, is that you there? So, where is that? That's my picture. But you being there and still the same thing, say. Everything that was happening there, Hadebe was the one who was directing me uh, as to how to go about doing it. Do you know why did he embark on that exercise? Why did he embark on that exercise? 
lo shutayo ashuti eti pegale lo shutayo ashuti agaza zeng chengu ngane changumoni he never told me uh, my lord he would just say face that side the person taking the, the photo would then do that look that side the person would then uh, do that my lord he never even told me as to why i had to take off my clothes from your observation of that photo would you say that person appearing there was injured in any way uma ubhekile ubuka lesi asithombe lesiyana ubona loyo muntu olapha lesi asithombe ungasho ukuthi khona indlela loyo muntu loyo alimele ngayo kuze kathi loyo engwazi ukukhomitha ngesithombe malota kuhade wayifuna ukubona leta ayifuna ukuyibona wayizokwazi ukuyibona malota i'm unable to comment on a photo if hade uh, wanted to see whatever it is that he wanted to see he would have been able to see it but do you see any abnormalities there ukhona ongami ngendlela ongahambi kahle okubonayo wena lapha yakulesi asithombe kose katolo mina ngikhulume ngesithombe ngikhuluma ukuthi ngoba bleti ayenzeka kimi kwakuningi kakhulu kwangahambi kahle my lord i'm not speaking about a photo uh, because uh, i know what happened to me a lot my lord there was a lot of abnormalities but that gene there doesn't seem to it is kodwa leya gene leya nimo ibukubhekile lapha yana akukho ushobu ukuthi leya gene ayibukeke ingcolile kose katolo noma ungangishutha ngefoto ngekhamera manje mina oba ngemnyama nje uzongibona ngathi ngimhlobo uh, even if you were to take a picture or a photo of me now my lord using a camera uh, as dark as i am i would appear light my lord you mean a color camera uh, usho ye color eyombala color photo yenze itikhanye kakhulu kunalo ke yikho noma ukuthi it's black and white color it makes me it makes something to be much uh, lighter my lord even if it's dark to see on your wrist there are there any marks or swelling on that particular photograph ku lesi asithombe lesi yana la ezandleni kukhona ama marka khona noma ke ukuvuvuka okubonakala ku lesi asithombe kose katola ngikhulume ngesithombe nawo ama mark i'm not talking about a photo my lord here are the marks the witness is pointing to his wrist his right hand right hand as well as the left hand Those marks did you show them to your defense counsel Lama mark la oqeda uwa khomba manje ke ngaba umele wakho wamtshengisa Yabo ngamboniso Yes I did And then was it not something that Mboto was supposed to comment about when he took the stand Kwanga se I'm sorry interject There's evidence that uh, Colonel Mboto Uh, so those uh, those marks and the swelling part of the so it's not an evidence that is created by this witness it's evidence emanating from the kennel who, who took the alleged confession <coughs> yes yes sir suban my lord i thought it would be fair for a witness like mbotu to have commented to say yes these are the marks that i saw in the date in question and they in this still visible on that position in relation to his hand was mbotu shown that photo no mbotu was never shown this photo who was shown that photo hadebe hadebe okay maybe you can comment through hadebe's okay. remarks Let's, can we proceed my lord the fact that you had injuries on your wrist did you inform kenel hadeb ukuthi wawulimeleke lana unama marks unokuvuvuka nako la kuwena ke zandleni wamtshela uhadeb ngalokho akaze sengibuzo uhadeb ngokushaya kwami ukuthi ngilimele kuphi kuze uhadeb wayinga wayinga hamsane nami wayengeke side nami wayifana namaphoyisa nawo angihlumbezile ah hadebe never asked me about uh, any assault whether i was injured and where and how my lord hadebe uh, was just uh, against me hadebe uh, was siding uh, together with uh, the police that had abused me and that is mkhane ngamani kutelezi and others lamaphoyisa wabala yo manje ukuthi wayesida nawo la wabala yo manje bala maphoyisa from Mbosho ngeyidedi I'm referring to the I'm referring to the police uh, since my arrest on the 30th all those police uh, uh, abused me very much so and then did you go out with Kenil Hadebe at some stage 
Ingabes corner in his catula, or Puma corner, no matter what Hamba corner, Hamba and I, okay, no hat. Yes, where did you go? Naya Gopi. I don't know where he was taking me to. How did you travel? In Hamba, Ganjani. I don't know how he traveled because he's the one who knew where he was taking me to. Were you walking on foot? Were you in a vehicle? Were you in a flight? Were you in a flight? Uh, we were traveling in a vehicle when a vehicle after he, these pictures that were shown here were taken. And then what type of a vehicle was it? What were you motoring on? Bangsai kumbu lugo to mobi tonge zako na bang shuti sangi se ngi se ngi se tuzi wai mot. Ntapi ma inga vela nga kumbu luti yole. I can't remember, but uh, because the photos that were taken uh, were taken with me next to a vehicle. If those uh, can be shown, those photos, then I'll be able to remember. Okay. Was it a baggy or a sedan or a hatchback? Eh, skulu malana ge ge baggy ge tampenje i baggy. Eh, i moto e ku sedan nama ge skulu mangen moto e e e hatchback. Eh, i sedan i moto skulu mangen mangen moto nje e e nami e tapezu fo e hatchback ange ti yule. Uh, it would be like in a, a sedan, my lord. It, it referred to a private vehicle, but a, a sedan. Okay. Where were you seated inside the vehicle? Pagati Cleo Motor Lay, or Sesukupin and Dawa when? I'm Sakum Bullet Gangster Lippy side, while left tomorrow to downshare me move. I can't remember which side I was seated, whether at uh, the right hand side or the left side, but it was at the back. And then who was the driver of the vehicle? Yeah, I can't remember the driver's surname name a lot. And then where was Kenil Hadebi seated inside the vehicle? Uh Kenil Hadebi was his group in the way in the motor. In front, my lot. And then where did you go from the I said, I said, I don't know where they took me to. Khatib is the one who knows or who knew. So, according to the evidence of Colonel Khatib, you are the one who gave the driver instructions. No, I've never instructed the driver how to drive. What you happened? also made a request that should you be taken to the entrance of Fosl Rats, then you'll be able to point a certain point or direction. But figure second, I'm figure a la and genwa ko na uma ungenwa e fosl ras. Uksuga la poge wena usunga ba change sage manje uguti agiwe kupi nendao. No, I never said that. And then the places that you were taken to, are you familiar with that place? Indawo lezi o watato wa siwa kzona, indawo o zaziyo. Ta, am zazi. No, I'm not familiar with them. Not at all. Answer, Bonche. Can you tell me the specific malot which areas you see in the front? What's that, sir? Sorry. You're saying what should be specific? The areas that you said he was taken to. Who must be specific? My colleague. How would you know that? Because, because this, there's no evidence to that effect in this court. There's evidence that... Unless you want to tell me he... Obviously he did. He read the confession and he read the pointing outs. But no. this court is not aware of any direction. My Lord, is, I'm referring to the evidence of Colonel Khate. He said, according to his evidence... Uh, the witness must die, must take them to the entrance yes. of Fos Loras. Yes. So my colleague must specify, because when I converse with Colonel Khatev as to which entrance, he, he talk about a, a shopping center. 
He never talked about mainly the entrance. So he said, when you if say you take entrance of Fos Luras, it's not specific enough. It's especially when he said a shopping center. Yes, he was specific. specific. Yes. <laughs> yes, let's hear you. They say you must be more specific. But that is the evidence that request to be taken to an entrance of Fos Luras. I don't know. But my, my Lord, I'm being told how to ask this witness. Yeah, continue. You don't recall the saying, the entrance of Fort Lewis is a shopping center. But that's not the angle I want to take. Okay, I, yeah, yeah fine, okay. Come. Did you make such a request? There is no request I made to Khatebe. And from First Loras, then you give instructions to a certain point. No, I never said anything. Trying to find some way in the record. Say, are you familiar with First Loras Hostel? Hostel is a First Loras, yes. Yes, I am. Were you taken there? Was he well up? Ankumbul. I don't recall. I can't find the relevant portion and the record wherein it was put to the witness that you were taken to that particular place on the 5th of June 2020. I told you that 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 and the witness indicates to the court that he does not recall being taken there. Oh, okay. You can put it, you can check it afterwards. Is Me, you, comment? and the other counsels. You're saying Mr. Mgumezu will put it? Yes. To the Hadebe, the kennel? To Hadebe, yes. I, 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 I can find it, Melody, if I can do it. I printed it out. Yes. How can you forget two lines? I mean, You are laughing. Okay. So what do we do now? No, my lord. Uh, if I can be allow allowed to continue, I will find that relevant portion. I did. Okay, okay fine. Okay, fine. When will I after he answered he answers the question? Okay. It was put to Hadebe that you were taken to First Loras Hostel, also known as Basutu Hostel on that day. Uh, okay. Well, what happened is you were taken to that hostel on that day. Uh, what happened is you So uh, as I said yesterday, my lord, that uh, the places that I was taken to, I'm not familiar with. So I was taken, after that, my lord, I was taken back. So I'm not familiar with those places. And in, in that evidence, you further testified that you are familiar with that place because you once resided there. Okay. My colleague, whether it's that what I put to the to Kenil Khate for verification purposes. <clears throat> you know, it's already late in the day. Maybe then again, I will show my colleague that relevant portion. Just that it's 
God knows that with my other documents here. Yeah. I'll proceed from that point tomorrow. What's your time now? 23 minutes past three. You understood, Jen? Yes.